Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are diving into the world of decentralized finance or TEFI to explain one of its core components, the TEFI wallet. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what a TEFI wallet is, how it works and why it's important for anyone looking to get involved in the world of crypto. You can check the live crypto wallet demo in the top right corner by clicking on the i button. So let's get started. So what is a DeFi wallet? To put it simply, a DeFi wallet is a type of digital wallet that allows you to securely store, send, receive and manage your cryptocurrency assets in a decentralized manner. Unlike traditional finance systems which rely on banks or intermediaries to control your money, DeFi wallets give you complete ownership and control over your digital assets. In other words, you are the only one with the access to your funds. There are no middleman. DeFi wallets are part of the broader decentralized finance movement which aims to create a more open and accessible financial system that doesn't depend on centralized authorities. How do DeFi wallets work? DeFi wallets work by leveraging blockchain technology which is the underlying technology behind cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. When you use a DeFi wallet, you are essentially interacting with the blockchain directly. One of the key features of DeFi wallets is that they are non-custodial. This means you hold the private keys to your wallet and only you can access your funds. Think of your private key as the secret password that unlocks your wallet. If you lose this key, no one can recover it for you and you could lose access to your funds. On the flip side, because no one else has access to your private key, your assets are safe from being frozen, seized or censored. Example of a user securely storing their private key with a warning text. Never share your private key. Another important aspect of DeFi wallets is their compatibility with decentralized applications or dApps. DeFi wallets can connect with various dApps allowing you to participate in different DeFi activities like lending, borrowing, stocking or trading without relying on the centralized exchange. Different types of DeFi wallets There are several types of DeFi wallets, each with its own set of features. The most common types include software wallets, hardware wallets and browser extension wallets. Let's break them down. First, we have the software wallets. These are applications you can download on your phone or computer like Metamask, Trust Wallet or Argent. They are easy to use and great for everyday DeFi activities, but they do come with some security risks if your device is compromised. Next, we have hardware wallets. These are physical devices like Ledger or Trezor that store your private keys offline. Hardware wallets offer a higher level of security because they aren't connected to the internet, making them less vulnerable to hacking. However, they can be a bit more complex to use and aren't convenient for quick transactions. Lastly, there are browser extension wallets such as Metamask extension for Chrome or Firefox. These allows you to interact with the dApps directly from your browser, making it easy to trade tokens or participate in DeFi protocols with just a few clicks. Benefits of using a DeFi wallet So, why should you consider using a DeFi wallet? There are several benefits to using these wallets over traditional financial systems. The first is full control over your assets. You don't need permission from a bank or third party to access your fund. You are in control 24-7. Second is access to decentralized applications. You can easily participate in DeFi protocols, stake your assets, provide liquidity or trade directly on decentralized exchange. Third is lower fee. Without intermediaries, transaction fees can be significantly lower than traditional bank transfers or centralized exchange. Then comes privacy and security. You don't have to share your personal information when setting up a DeFi wallet, which adds a layer of
of privacy. The non-custodial nature also enhances security. Potential risks and challenges. While DeFi wallets offer many advantages, they are not without risks. Let's go over some challenges you should be aware of. First is responsibility for security. Since you are in charge of your private keys, losing them means you could lose access to your funds permanently. Second comes user errors. Mistakes like sending funds to the wrong address or interacting with malicious dApps can lead to loss of assets. Third is smart contract vulnerabilities. DeFi protocols run on smart contracts which can have bugs or be exploited by hackers leading to potential loss. Fourth comes regulatory uncertainty. The legal environment around DeFi is still evolving which can pose risks related to compliance. Now let's talk about how to set up a DeFi wallet. If you're ready to get started with a DeFi wallet, setting one up is straightforward. Let's walk through the basic step-by-step -step setting up of a DeFi wallet. First, download a wallet app. Choose a reputable wallet like Metamask, Trust Wallet or Argent. Create a new wallet. Follow the instructions to set up a new wallet. You'll be given a seed phrase, a series of words that serve as a backup for your wallet. Write this down and keep it in a safe place. Third is fund your wallet. Transfer some cryptocurrency into your new wallet from an exchange or another wallet. Fourth is connect to dApps. Now you can connect your wallet to a DeFi protocol and start exploring. To sum up, DeFi wallets are a key tool in the decentralized finance ecosystem, allowing you to take control of your digital assets, access to DeFi protocols, and participate in the new era of finance. While they come with risks, the benefits can be substantial, especially if you are looking to be your own bank. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on cryptocurrency and DeFi. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And do drop a comment below if you have any questions or let us know what topic you'd like us to cover next. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon in the next video.